Hi everyone and welcome to my second part of X-Men Avengers 30th Anniversary uh, video. In my last video, I basically took you through uh, what was being done primarily for the X-Men since the Super Mutant team was huge in the 90s as well as in the 80s. It is hard for today's readers as well as today's Avengers fans thanks to the MCU to imagine that there was a time that X-Men had eclipsed the Avengers uh, when it came to the number of titles, the sales, merchandising, so many other things. Having said that, there was a quite a bit of uh, good amount of work done for the Avengers uh, when it came to the 30th anniversary celebration. So I'm going to be telling you about it, but first, here's an important announcement. Well, finally, that day has come. I am pleased to inform you that I have launched my membership program for my community members. In that membership program, you have three different levels of membership, starting from the hero going all the way to becoming a super friend of Son of Jadda. And there are a lot of perks that are going to be available, including having the chance to meet me either online or in person. And all of this is available starting from a small amount of seven and a half reals, which would be roughly around two dollars. Now, all of these comic book titles, uh, I have to share something with you very important all the way till the end of the video. But let me start out with uh, what Marvel had planned for the Avengers. Now, we need to keep one thing in mind that it wasn't just about celebrating 30 years, but also uh, the Avengers and X-Men were somehow connected in between thanks to one particular superhero, Quicksilver. Quicksilver at this time was a member of X-Factor, not the Avengers, whereas his sister Scarlet Witch was a member of the Avengers. And at that time, Quicksilver was married to the inhuman Crystal. And they had a baby, uh, her name was Luna, and she was Magneto's granddaughter. So you can see how Magneto and his family were basically the ones that got these two teams uh, together. Firstly, there were some new titles that were being announced, uh, namely Eric Masterson as Thunderstrike. We had War Machine, we had Forceworks, which was uh, the next step uh, in uh, after the Avengers West Coast, Coast titles. Uh, Tony Stark would be basically leading a team that would be having Alpha Flight's Puck. Uh, it would be having uh, Spider-Woman, but not Jessica Drew. And uh, in that respect, these were the three titles. Terminatrix objective involved Kang and his wife, uh, where War Machine, US agent, and Eric Masterson, aka Thunderstrike, uh, are technically abducted by Kang's wife and they, uh, she needs them to save her husband. And uh, from that point onwards, it involves the classic uh, Avengers, especially Captain America, Iron Man and Thor getting involved in this uh, storyline. Then there was uh, Avengers X-Men Greatest Battles trade paperback. This is something which is a big uh, collector's item because it basically collected all their greatest battles up to the point of 1993. There was also uh, a special commemorative issue for West Coast Avengers number 100. The ongoing series of the Avengers had two parts into it. One was exclusively the Avengers storyline which involved, uh, which involved Cersei, uh, Crystal and uh, Dane Whitman, the Black Knight. And this was more of a soap opera kind of a uh, situation whereby Dane Whitman and uh, Cersei were romantically involved, but later on Dane Whitman starts to have feelings towards Crystal and uh, Cersei learns about that. Uh, plus the Eternals get involved in the fact that they want Cersei to be back with them. Uh, so this was mainly w what was being considered. Plus there is a specific role that was played by Vision at the time. Now, all of these comics and uh, the covers 
you can check them out in my video in which I showcase my comic books collection. And you can specifically go to the Avengers 30th anniversary chapter and the X-Men 30th anniversary chapter and you can have a look at these. I wish that more had been done for the Avengers uh, because just like X-Men Fatal Attractions, Fatal Attractions was a pretty packed. You have not only the X-Men but also X-Factor, X-Force, Excalibur, uh, getting involved with Magneto in one way or another uh, in their respective capacities, followed by uh, the covers being one of uh, the best covers ever designed. Uh, and then at the same time, they were accompanied with these limited edition uh, holographic cards. And in my video, which I am referring to, you can check out my entire collection of Fatal Attractions as well as the Avengers 30th anniversary titles. My biggest regret is that uh, back in the 90s, it was quite difficult for me to get comic books uh, because you only had two options. You could either buy them uh, from the newsstands that were here in Star Market or uh, Sarawa. The other bit was that you would order them. Uh, from the US and back then ordering from the United States was pretty much expensive even if you had uh, subscribed to comic book titles uh, you had to send a draft uh, to uh, Marvel Comics or D DC Comics HQ and then the comics would be coming there but the postal service at the time was very poor so a lot of titles were missed um, I've lost a great deal of comics because of this so the other option was that we could do the mail order uh, company uh, because that was big at the time. Uh, that's why I wasn't able to grab on to Terminatrix Objective, the trade paperback, uh, which was X-Men Avengers Greatest Battles, West Coast Avengers titles and so forth. But in the meantime, I have pretty f much fair amount of comic book titles, though I have to admit that most it's about X-Men rather than the Avengers but still you can check them out in my video uh, in which I showcase my entire collection and part of it happens to be the X-Men and Avengers 30th anniversary so I hope you enjoyed make sure to like this video share it and one more thing make sure to join uh, my membership program on YouTube so that you guys can get exclusive perks uh, starting from two dollars which is seven and a half reals so make sure to join in to support me in producing more and more exciting content from the heart of Arabia take care